What's up everybody, my name's Lucas, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, we're going to continue the Outer Worlds. So, I think when we last left off, we had met with... What's his face? Sorry, we, must, we met with... Um, Reed, yeah, he's like the... Kind of the leader, mayor of the city, I guess, and we got Pravati with us. She's gonna accompany us to go try and speak to the deserters, see if we can't convince them to pack up and come back home. So, yeah. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out in off the thread, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. <laughs> Seems like a lovely place to work and live. What do we got here? Church? I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Hey there, Mary. Don't Mary? Yes, y'all don't mind if I do that, right? Hello? Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort of preferred. Vicar Brandy. Max. And Ms. Holcomb as well. There's a German well, tank in World War II called the Dicker Max. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. <laughs> the quickest way out of town. Um, yeah, how do you know I'm out? How do you know that I'm an outsider? Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. <laughs> like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Except for Ms. Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Um. Yeah, kind of is kind of weird for a Vicar to do that. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Yeah, it's kind of your job to keep that up, isn't it? Yes. But there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Yes. And thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to the stress. This place could be so much more, and I will continue in my quest to make it so. Yeah, Pravati wanted us to come talk to you. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Um... Yeah, I'll give it to you straight. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. What do you think of their group? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. 
Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Um. Yeah, okay, so what's your advice? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Yeah, do you think that's even possible? Not if things are left as stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Oh. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Alright, um... Yeah, I guess you're gonna try to burn it, probably. What? No! I don't want to burn it! I would never! I mean, I just want to... <laughs> very convincing. Okay. I have a very simple goal here. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakunu handwritten Bakunu. in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value, should they ever read it. Thank I guess I'll look for it. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Alrighty. And what did that old guy wanted me to, wanted me to do? Side quests, fingers. Yeah. Let's go check out the community center. Tuna. Don't know if I'd like to eat tuna every day for the rest of my life. I like it, but not that much. Loading screens ain't no joke on this game. Unfortunately. <clears throat> oh, this is fancy. Let me check my map real quick. Is there something? Old wreckage, landing site. Okay, so pretty much everything is on the other side of the map. I guess we'll start running around the city. Don't leave like having to go through one of those uh, loading screens again. So do you have a weapon? I need to give you one.
and get you. Oh, <laughs> guess you're gonna triple H some people. Are good, right? Or quote unquote good. Hey, Miss Mabadi. Come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this fella. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Hey, you know, I'm not a marauder. You talk too pretty for a marauder. <laughs> Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Um. Yeah. Just to make your acquaintance ship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. I appreciate Dave that. Silas, junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. <laughs> that is a funny way of saying Grave Digger. I earned that fancy title. Started off a lowly junior gravesite builder, then junior interment engineer. Oh, and I was a junior burial assistant for a time. <laughs> the rate I've been working, I'm bound to earn a promotion. Must be about 50, 60 burials away from associate in humor. <laughs> Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Uh huh. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis. Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Yeah, why is he a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. That's the old man I talked to. So I'm guessing you dig the bodies up if the families can't pay for the space. That's kind of messed up. Well, a lot messed up actually, but you know. More leg. So you guys had some run-ins with these marauders up here. This thing's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome.
There we go. Hunting rifle, I'll take that. Your finger. Sweet. Um Do a little bit of tech. Uh, a little bit of stealth. And we'll do one on dialogue. There we go. Toss ball card. Where are we headed? Yeah, tell me about your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, so they were kind of confused. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. <laughs> Better to raise me on his time than hers. Ooh, so rifle. Mind if I do? Does that take heavy ammo too, though? Hmm. Here we go. Give you the assault rifle. And I will take that thing. Yeah, there we go. Damn, that, <laughs> that sounds pretty brutal. Alrighty, well, I think we're gonna call that part right there. Um, I guess in the next part we will go and deal with the rest of the Marauders and head over to the geothermal plant and talk to the deserters. I'll see you guys in the next part. See ya.